G'day guys, welcome to the Pro Ricky exclusive YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe or pre and press the bell and like the video. I'd ask you to do that for me as we get into our next video. Let's go guys. Okay, let's go guys. Guys, this is part two in our detachment series. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps us guys. We, we want to get this thing pumping if we can. Um, we're putting out good content, I'm sure you'll agree. But let's get into it, shall we? This is part two of the detachment series. Situations that require positive emotional attachment. And guys, we get into these situations, don't we? we, we and Sometimes we just can't seem to find our way out. Have you ever had that? How do you feel when somebody says something nasty or makes an unpleasant comment? You know, it doesn't make you feel good. And I've done this as a boss and as a leader on the job. You know, you, you get upset and angry and the next thing you're saying, things you wish you didn't. And, oh gosh, it just goes on and on. But you, you, you can have a consciousness of this and that's what we're trying to do, help people become conscious of these things. You know, you'd probably become angry, unhappy, or feel hurt. This happens because you let other people's thoughts, uh, words and actions, or maybe situations that we're in affect our state of mind. And we be, we're we not where we should be within ourselves. And, <clears throat> excuse me guys, on the other hand, if you're able to stay detached from these things, positively emotionally detached, you will you you prevent being so upset and disturbed because you'll be where you need to be within yourself. You'll stay calm and not waste hours ruminating on the things that you think are upsetting you. Um, this is where we come back to ourselves and get control of our thinking and of our mind, where we're poised, where we're not like a four-way socket in a, a um, electricity plug with everything hanging out of it um, you come back and clean things up pull some of those plugs out detach so let's look at five things here guys number one do you spend hours thinking about hurts possibly bad memories failure instead of finding ways to avoid these things or to deal with things sometimes you don't need to avoid them you just need to deal with them and that can be difficult when you're looking in the mirror at yourself and trying to find a way of healing and whatnot. Healing takes time and this is where we've all got to start. Number two, do you allow yourself to be pulled into emotional thinking or worries and fears instead of detaching from them? Number three, how much time and energy do you waste every day Brooding on useless thoughts and feelings due to a lack of attachment. You're overconnected. You've gone too far. Um, what about the anger and frustration and unhappiness and disappointments that come due to a lack of going in too deep, guys? What about while working, reading or walking even, and during other activities, how often do you keep thinking about people and situations that have hurt you? Now, this is natural, but you've got to come to a point where you find your way out. And this is not a, a useful activity and can be a waste of time and energy. It's a waste of your life. And we're trying to equip people to um, avoid these things. Um, and number four, five, number five, guys, do you practice meditation? Do you stop and meditate? And give yourself time to come back to yourself. Because during meditation, an endless number of thoughts that keep coming into your mind, attracting attention and awaking associated thoughts and emotions that you don't want, can be filtered out through meditation and prayer or whatever your practice is. And this makes you forget that the meditation, in meditation, and you follow your thoughts. And so you're cleansing your mind. So, however, 
if you can display detachment towards your thoughts, it would be easier to ignore them. So you're not just pushing these things to the back. Meditation's allowing these things to go through you and help you um, to be free of them. Okay. Positive refrain. Way to boost your courage and resilience today. You can prevent yourself from getting involved in these situations and being affected by them when you develop the ability to detach yourself from them. Now this is a practice, okay? This is you saying to yourself, these things have no value to me. I do not need to be spending so much mind power on these things. I can change this. This is positive emotional detachment. It is a way to protect your mental and emotional well-being and you come back to yourself instead of being spread everywhere. So number one, it is the most useful skill when driving since it helps you stay calm when you find yourself in a traffic jam or ready to do road rage and when someone cuts your lane or someone's just going slow in front of you. Um, positive mental attachment and the practices of that help you to um, when someone's criticizing you or when someone treats you rudely it helps you keep your composure and control in reactions that are positive in these situations guys and it also helps you avoid resentment and holding grudges because you rise above how you feel you're beginning to navigate yourself in a more positive way these are just a few of the many ways in which you can positively emotionally detach and be able to come back to the person who you are. Most of us are running around worn out like a cheeseburger with the gherkin hanging out of the side of it or even the gherkin on a wall where somebody just, people throw the gherkin everywhere, don't they? Well, we need to get the gherkin and throw it out the window. I'm referring to the positive phase of emotional detachment. And when it's useful, it can save your time and your energy and bring you back to yourself. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe, press the bell, like the video for more of this amazing content for tradies who might be struggling or just need a bit of a kick in life. Guys, this is Pro Bricky from the Pro Bricky exclusive YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. God bless you and bye for now.